Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 11 KB5013943 is now available and started rolling out on the 10th of May 2022. And the update is an automatic update. So once the update has been applied, um, the stable version now of Windows 11, the OS build, will now be bumped up to 22,000.675. Now, as always, as many of you know, uh, to see if you have the update, uh, what we do is we always just head to the settings menu, Windows update, and the Patch Tuesday updates, which roll out on the second Tuesday of every month, um, are compulsory automatic mandatory updates. So the update will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And once your device has been rebooted, if you're interested, you can just head to update history, where the update will be listed under quality updates, cumulative update for Windows 11 KB5013943, which once again, like all other Patch Tuesday updates, is a security update mainly and addresses numerous security issues in the Windows 11 operating system. Now, over and above the security updates, um, there are two other fixes and improvements that have actually rolled out pertaining to this update. And I have posted on both of these previously, but just to mention the first, um, um, according to the release notes for 5013943, um, it addresses a known issue that might cause your screen to flicker if you start your device in safe mode. Components that rely on explorer.exe, such as your file explorer, the start menu, and the taskbar, might be affected and appear unstable. Um, and that was when some users were booting into safe mode, and those components could blink and flicker and appear very unstable in safe mode. So according to Microsoft, that has now finally been addressed. And then the other, uh, just to mention, the second one, which I have also posted on, is apparently um, apps that rely on the .NET framework uh, the .NET 3.5 framework had been crashing, which I have mentioned in a previous video, and also that has now been addressed as well with this latest update. Now, um, just to mention those all-important security updates, which are very similar to uh, those rolled out with the Windows 10 update, uh, 44 vulnerabilities have been addressed uh, with KB5013943. Five of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. And out of those five critical vulnerabilities, uh, three are remote code execution exploits and vulnerabilities, and two are elevation of privilege vulnerabilities. And we also have, uh, in those five critical vulnerabilities, we also have three zero-day exploits, which means um, those exploits are currently active and have already been exploited in the wild. So this is a very important security update to the Windows 11 operating system. Now. If you didn't install last month, April, uh, the optional update, the optional bug fix update, KB5012643, which rolled out uh, near the end of last month, April, then most of those fixes, if you didn't install the optional bug fix update, will now be carried over into this update, 5013943. And um, I did post a video on that, so I'll leave a link to that down below if you're interested, just to have a quick look. Um, and a more in-depth look if you did miss that video or didn't install the update. But those fixes now are carried over into this update. And just to mention some of those highlights, there's a new weather icon temperature display. So if you go to your news and interests feed, your widget, you'll see above that you've got a little temp temperature display above the actual widget now in the taskbar. And also there were improvements for, the serv for servicing the Windows Secure Boot component fixes for a startup blue screen of death and also for mainly point of sale machines and um, some of which were taking almost 40 minutes to boot up that has also been addressed memory leak fixes app button fixes and many other improvements and then just to mention one or two others which are worth mentioning uh, there's also an issue that affected the title attribute in microsoft edge internet explorer mode that has been fixed and there's also fixed an issue that incorrectly aligned video subtitles so those um, are the fix, fixes carried over from last month's optional bug fix update, uh, which are now available with this update. And then, as always, uh, the servicing stack has also been updated, which is the component um, which um, keeps uh, Windows Update um, running on your machine. And then, if for whatever reason, if you um, uh, are battling to get the update installed through Windows Update itself, uh, you can always just head over, as I have mentioned with my Windows 10 video I posted earlier on today, you can just head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog, enter the KB number, 
and you can just um, download um, uh, the update pertaining to your device and install the update manually if you are having any problems installing it through the Windows update process on your actual device. So that's it, KB5013943, um, security fixes, 44 vulnerabilities addressed with this uh, latest update and then some other improvements and fixes that have also rolled out um, with this latest patch to the update for Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.